Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back. This is part 2 of Banjo-Tooie. So in the last part we went through the beginning of the game and through Mayhem Temple. And uh, this time we'll be going to Glitter Gulch Mine. So let's go over here, do a little mini game, and unlock the, the area. Bitch. Oh, shit. Okay, so I tried recording this a little bit earlier, and there's some weird <laughs> emulation glitches on on these uh, these puzzle piece things. Seems to be. I think I fixed my problems though with my on my computer, so hopefully things are running a bit better now. Shouldn't be getting too much lag now. Thank goodness. So yeah, we're gonna unlock Glitter Gulch Mine. Probably gonna go in. Uh, we're gonna. What I'm gonna try to do is get the moves, the new moves first that we that we get from that level, and then I'll probably try to go back to um, to my Hem Temple and get the last jiggy that that I'm missing. And I think I have enough jiggies right now to unlock Witchy World, which is the next world after Glitter Gulch Mine. So we might we might have to go in there. Um, before finishing up with Glitter Gulch Mine. You know, get in there a little bit early, get some move, get some new moves, and then come right back out. Yeah. I really like Glitter Gulch Mine. Music-wise, I think it's one of my favorites in, in this game. The whole, like, country aesthetic, the theme. Unfortunately, the stage is a fucking maze. So it can be quite a pain to get through. Oh lord, come on. Uh, no, come on. Right there? Yeah. Come on. Come on. I don't know what I'm rushing for. Ugh, you see that? Yeah, I had that was one of the emulation glitches I was having earlier on. <laughs> Just ignore that. <laughs> Like, you can see right through the stage, because I think Banjo's model's there. So it, like, clears out the area with that his model is in, and then it just shows the skybox in the back. I don't know, something like that. But yeah, that unlocks Witchy World. We'll, we might have to go into there towards the end of this episode, or just at the beginning of the next episode. Yeah, so, hope you guys are doing good. I woke up late as hell again today. 2 p.m. around. Unfortunately, that's the new normal for me. You know, yesterday I woke up at like 8.30 a.m. It was crazy. I thought I was doing something, but nah. My body said sleep. Alright, so last I was just trying to record this like a few minutes ago, and it was like laggy as hell. But I think the problems are fixed now. I set the priority, like, I went into the task manager and I set the priority for, uh, for Project 64 to the highest. So, hopefully that solves my problem. Uh, let's go this way. Bitch. Oh, it's a ginger over here. Oh, I remember. I'm going the wrong way. What? That did not hit me. Come on. Okay, buddy. There you go. <laughs> I don't know why that kept hitting me. What does this say? Magic global creatures are usually found near Mumbo Jungle and Humble Wumbo. Thanks, Jam Jars. I didn't know that. Oh lord. So this is like the edge of the island that they live on? It's just an abyss after. Maybe at least the sea or something. Uh, I think I can just... Yeah. Uh, I think there's a Jinjo underneath this boulder, but we can't get it just yet. Alright. 
And I think there's a, yeah, jam jars over here. Teach me a new move, bitch. Fire eggs. One of the many types of eggs in this game. I think there are like four or five types of eggs. So we got the normal blue eggs, and now we have fire eggs. Dismissed. Alright, so basically you use R to switch between your eggs. So we have 50, uh, and you see in these baskets, they sort of switch back and forth. So, makes a little different, makes a sort of different sound as Kazooie too. Eh ha! Rather than eh ha! <laughs> uh, I think if we go over here, we can unlock the path to Witchy World. And I'm gonna go there right now. Because I believe right in front of the world is where we unlock where we unlock uh, grenade eggs, which are <laughs> really good. Unfortunately, at the cost of damaging yourself if you get too close to them. So, new teleport point, new warp point, whatever. Oh lord. Remember when I said I fixed my problems on my PC? <laughs> oh, perfect, we have just enough. Blast. These things are so good, but you only get 25. Like, they actually just eat through enemies. In most cases, if you're trying to shoot an egg at an enemy, grenade eggs are the way to go. Oh, let me see if I can snipe this one. Ooh, bitch. Yeah, but you see, they do hurt you. Just like in Smash. Banjo be like, I poop egg. But, uh... Which honestly isn't... <laughs> isn't far off from these games. So you can't really be too mad. But, I think for now we're going back into political Gulch Getting those bomb eggs... Actually, no. Let me go up there and talk to Honey Bee. But, yeah. Really useful eggs to have. Any other notes I'm missing? I don't think so. Oh, Nice. So we go in here and we trade our empty honeycomb pieces for... Life slots. Whatever you want to call them. Health... Whatever. Health bar. Honey health. Hi there, big bear. She got some. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, energy units, I guess. Yeah, Kazooie, quit being a bitch, <laughs> wasp lady. Hornet girl, what a bitch. Oh, I got two more? Damn. He is her. Sure, honey. <laughs> Big Bear, stop calling me Big Bear. <laughs> You're weird. I'm literally a bear. You're an insect. Yeah. No neat little animation of the, the empty honeycomb pieces swirling around and then... I don't know. It's a bit different in this game. A lot of little... little... little things like that. <laughs> I saw... I thought I saw this stuff and I was like, why is the health bar straight? Urgh. Oh, is there anything up here? Nah. Alright, let's go. Into the mine. Into the mine? <laughs> Minecraft. Ah. Oh, shut up, dude. Ah. This song always puts me at ease. Oh. Uh, let me go up here. This game expects you to get some sort of transformation or power up or whatever, but you can just climb up and <laughs> fly back there. Alright, so I'll probably go visit uh, Cheeto when I'm not recording. 
Uh, what's in here? Oh! <laughs> uh, those guys are funny. A lot of funny sounding enemies in this game. Um, is there anything down in here? I don't think so. Oh lord. Just realized that we have all these, <laughs> all these grenades in our, uh, in our backpack. Oh lord. Bleep. I'm trapped in this mine by that block tunnel. Bleep. Uh, I think we need the Humba Wumba transformation to unlock that. You see how there's like a little, a little rope there? Yeah. I'll show you when, when we turn, when we get the transformation, but yeah, we need to keep this place in mind. A lot of little areas in here that we just have to... Oh my lord, game please. Alright, stop freaking out. There's a globo up there. Uh, water switch. I don't think I need to deal with that right now. My lord, game. Stop freaking out. Uh, oh lord. I believe. Oh shit. I believe there's. Dude, please get up there. Where it is? I think there is a jam jars silo thing around here. I think it's on the other side. Oh, there he is. So I think this is the uh, drill. Yeah, build drill. A really useful skill. Spin and drill with her head. Imagine your face being a deadly weapon. Jesus. Oh my lord. I think there's a Jinjo trapped under that uh, boulder. That's new, I guess. Oh no, it's just this. Uh, so before I move on, I'm going to go back out to Mayhem Temple. Because that was a move that we need to get in order to actually get what we need to get to complete the level. Just one more jiggy left, and, it, and also the place that we're going to uh, will lead us right back into Clear Gulch Mine, which is oh, where am I going? Just pretty useful. One thing I like about this game, I guess, I guess, like in quotations, is um, even though there's a lot of backtracking, it's not that you have to come outside outside of the world and go like back in from the main entrance. Everything is like. Like, there's very good continuity with the levels. Uh, let me teleport. So, like, a lot of them are, like, really connected. Which I think is really interesting. Oh, what is all of them? Gives some nice continuity to the game. Makes the island feel like it's real. Rather than... Well, I guess it makes sense in a layer where you are, like, transported to different worlds. A bit different from this game where, rather than inside a place, you're, like, outside exploring the island. Kind of interesting. Uh, prison compound, I think. Yeah. God, I hate this level. <laughs> Music is so damn annoying. The eco o oh, Fucking good. Alright, let's free this lady. Lady, by the way. Shout out to Alberta. <laughs> Plague ring test, that's not nice. All right, so that's our that's our route back to uh, Glitter Gulch Mine. But right before we do that, I'm going to go through here and swim through this area. Yeah, I believe we just need to. Oh shoot. Go down there, 
I think we need to attack the pillars and make them go down. No, not that one. Is it this one over here? Yeah, I think it's just counterclockwise. Yeah. So you got <laughs> unskippable, by the way. So you just attack the pillar. Is it gonna do that cutscene every time? Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> unskippable, by the way. Please don't do it again. Oh my God. Okay. God damn it. It's just unnecessary. It's so unnecessary. <laughs> For no reason. Playing these slow ass cutscenes. Alright, I think we now we can just jump up and grab it. Then we'll be done with my hem temple once and for all. Alright, let's get out of here. Nice. Just to make 100% certain, we have everything in my hem temple. 10, 3, 3, 2, 100, 5, 3. Alright. Let's get out of here. Back to Glitter Gulch Mine. Bill. I think your other name is gold related. <laughs> gold bar Bill? Klondike Bill? <laughs> Bullion Bill. Thought so. <laughs> uh, some of the dialogue in this game is pretty funny. Alberta? She been gone? A rat in a prison. That's a rat? Exterminators RS. <laughs> She's only joking. Literally saying, oh yeah, we killed her. Or giving people like death threats and shit. Oh, she's just joking. Excuse her, she, she's just joking. She is a little too hype. Calm down there, buddy. <laughs> Look at this dude. Well, at least they're back together. Alright, let's get out of here. Uh, first thing I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, I think, is find Mumbo. And if you've seen if you've seen Donkey's video on Banjo Tui, you'll know what comes next. Ah, oh, shit. Bitch ass nigga. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, where's the other globo? Should be another globo around here. Ah, oh, there he is. <laughs> bitch. I got the cancel too. Alright. Uh, just to be sure, what's down here? Uh, so there's a Jinjo in there, but we need the, mum no, not Mumbo, Wumba, Wumba transformation to blow that up. Uh, I think I can just go like this. Uh, I think, honestly, I can just take care of this area right now. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Bitch. Oh, I didn't get any, didn't get any health back. Ah, the split up pads. I think we need these for for going in in here. Uh, what's this? No, because we read it. Control stick only slightly will make you tiptoe silently. Okay, well, I don't even think we need the split up pads. <laughs> I 
Yeah, because I think I think what happens is, this is yeah, there's a darker area down there, and we need we need to split up so that one of us gives it power. Um, camera, hello. Hello. <laughs> I can't see. Okay. <laughs> uh. Yeah, so it lights up this area so we can walk and get the jiggy. But we uh, we don't even need it. <laughs> it's not pitch black to where you can't see. You can still see. Oh my god. Unskippable, by the way. <laughs> You're gonna hear me say that a lot. I'm gonna keep saying it. But, um, yeah, we don't need to split up. Camera, hello. Oh, well, I'm just, just gonna go downstairs. Yeah, you can use the uh, the fire eggs to light the path. <laughs> bitch. Oh. Oh, bitch. Yeah, see? Easy. Oh, it actually is pretty dark shit. <laughs> Alright. It's okay, though. I ain't no bitch. Also, if I die... I don't have to recollect all my. I I forgot to mention that actually. There aren't there aren't lives in this game. So if I I don't I don't have to worry if I die. If anything, dying might be <laughs> useful, you know, so I can death warp. Is there something up there? No. Get out of there. Yeah, so if I wanted to, I can just die. Oh! <laughs> I could de death warp if I wanted to. But, uh, I think I'll, t I'll, I'll use my eggs and get through here again. Yeah, watch this. See, I don't even need the light. Oh my god. I'd rather not fall, Banjo, so please work with me. Alright, almost there. No. Shoot the egg, thank you. Alright. Alright, good to go. Yeehaw, bitch. <laughs> I keep saying that. I like mock them and I'm like, bitch. So, I think we came from the left, up there. What's this? Come on. What's through here? Yeah, like I said, this place is a, this place is a goddamn maze. Um, yeah, I don't need to come here just yet. I'm gonna go back to Mumbo. Like I said, I wanted to get the Mumbo thing out of the way. So I can't get the Jinjo, unfortunately. So we're gonna need to come back to this. Oh, I'm just remembering that there's a there's a goddamn um there's a Breagle Blaster section in this world too. Thankfully there isn't one in, in Witchy World. Thank god. But <laughs> it's it's harder in this one than in the uh, in the first one. At least for for the second one, or for the first one, we didn't have a timer on us. But for the first, for this one in this world, uh, it'll time us. <laughs> Shit is stressful. Let me tell you. <laughs> All right, Mumbo will give you goddamn Globo. Where the hell did he pull that from? He pulled that out of his ass. <laughs> he had that shit tucked way up there. Um, I think we just need the... I think it's the crushing shed. I don't think we have unlocked the, uh, the warp point to it, though. Is it over here? I believe? No, I don't think it's over this way. Because you can see some of the hills and, like, you know, the glitter gold or whatever the fuck. Yeah, see, this is not where I'm going. Uh, let me let me get the warp pad over there though. 
train station. Yeah, we're gonna need to come back there. As I'll probably do that next after Mumbo. Um, but yeah, there some areas are like color coded, so you can see them from a distance. Like this area is blue. You know, purple, pink over there is sort of like the the center central area. Um, but I think where we're where we're going is green. So look out for green hills. And I think it's on the left here. Or is it on the right? Yeah, there it is. Uh, let me go up this way. So this will take us to the crushing shed. Where we use the mumbo magic to move. Uh, where's the warp pad, by the way? Oh, it's right there. Alright, mumbo magic. Unskillable cutscene time. Levitate. Jiggy Boulder. Mumbo Jumbo. This shit is so slow. Oh yeah, we need to come back here as Banjo and Kazooie and we need to like activate a conveyor belt so the rock will get crushed. Mumbo just lifts it and put it puts it where we need it to be. But do they really feel the need to make it this slow? Like seriously. It's just, un just unnecessary. Unnecessarily slow. Alright, well. We're done with Mumbo Jumbo, so let's switch back. So we're gonna do this crushing shed thing, then we'll go to the train station. Another interesting fast travel means in is fast travel for the overworld rather than uh, through within the level. Because there are the there are the uh, the silos, the jam jars silos that you can use to fast travel throughout the worlds or throughout the island. But uh, there's a train there's a train system that not only tra lets us uh, tra transfer us, but we'll also need it for a few uh, jiggies and things like that later on. Uh, crushing shit. Kind of interesting. A lot of un unskippable to cutscenes, but hey, what's new? I guess. <laughs> oh, I think we need to go. All the way over there. What? <laughs> oh, look at this. We got squished. You <laughs> can really got squished. All right, nice. That wasn't so bad. Unskippable, by the way. I I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm <laughs> mashing on my controller. <sighs> Banjo Tui, everyone. Banjo Tui. Wow! Look at those graphics. And it's gonna spit out. The uh, the jiggy pieces, kind of like the uh, wait, how do I go up? this way? I don't think these things will crush me, but uh, kind of like the uh, what is it? The you know Mario Galaxy? I have to get pieces of the warp star. It's like that. Or kind of like the silver stars, you know, get five silver stars and you get a star. <laughs> and it only plays a little chunk of the uh, of the jiggy fanfare, whatever you want to call it. Oh, it's those jumping shoes. Can't get those yet. Oh, there's only three parts. Yeah, there it is. Uh, so let's go to the train station next. Take care of the super easy boss. Uh, before I go in there, I just want to see what's down here. Uh, please stop lagging my game, sir. Oh my god.
Come on, dude. Oh yeah, you can do the double jump out of Talon Trot in this game, rather than just the Rattatai Rat. So I can do this, and I can do... I can double jump right out of it. So I was just in these caverns earlier. And that'll lead to the uh, fuel storage, or... I don't know, not fuel storage, the... um. Whatever, the power supply place. Where does this lead us to? Generator cavern. Unreliable generators. Use at your own risk. Can I just use these again? Yes, I can. How do I use them? I don't know. There's a jiggy at the end of this, right? Oh, uh, somewhere. Might as well check it out while we're here. Oh lord, actually, <laughs> it's really dark. <laughs> I can just barely see where I'm going. I think there is a, a bit of platforming here too. Yeah. Slowly, slowly. Oh, nice. Nice little jiggy over there. <laughs> Set him on fire. <laughs> Alright. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Wait, could I have just... No, we can't reach that. There's a ladder there. <laughs> that I missed. I thought I was going to grab it. Well, we're done with that area, so I think now we're going back here. Man, I feel like I can't, I can't fucking breathe nowadays. Maybe it's because I'm talking too much during these damn playthroughs. Uh, what's up here? Jinjo? Some notes, maybe? Oh yeah, there it is. Maybe I just haven't been eating healthy enough. Because <laughs> I really haven't. I haven't eaten like shit lately. I did have some scrambled eggs this morning though. That was pretty nice. Oh lord, I need mumbo again. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Right. Might as well call him up. Oh, nice. Uh, where's the last one? I'm trying to remember. The last, um... I don't think I have an idea of where it is. Actually. So, let's go, let's go call up Mumbo again. Oh my lord. Stop fucking up my computer, please. Thank you. Yeah, you might see a lot of that during transitions. Into a bigger world. Yeah. Unfortunate. Maybe someday I'll invest in a in a gaming PC or just one that's more powerful than the one I have now. But that takes money. I don't have any money. Come on, nigga. Unfortunately, I do need your help. <laughs> God, banjo. Excuse me. You're the train station. Oh man, I'm just thinking. Attack on Titan Season 4. The first episode came out today. Like, I opened it up. I was like, oh, should I watch this before I record the video? But I said, nah. Let me record this video first, then watch... Oh, excuse me. Then watch the, uh... Attack on Titan. Man, that shit's gonna go so crazy. If this if this season is good, and which I know it will be, because the conclusion, the final season, it'll probably dethrone Hunter X Hunter as my favorite anime. And already, low key, it already has. Because I think, in my opinion, Attack on Titan, at least the anime, is more like consistently good 
than Hunter x Hunter. Not to say that Hunter x Hunter is like bad necessarily at any parts, it's just like there are definitely slower parts, but with Attack on Titan, it's just like 100% full throttle, like 90% of the way. It's just, oh my god, that anime is crazy. I couldn't imagine being a, a manga reader for that one. Oh man. I'm glad I didn't read the manga though. I'm glad I waited for the, the anime to come out. That way, all my my first my first experience with Attack on Titan is through the anime. I get to witness all this like sick animation, all this music, all the voices, all the acting. It's all good. Normally, I'm one. Normally, I really. Uh, where, where am I going next? Actually, oh yeah. Normally, I'm I'm like I'm more of a manga reader personally. Like, when it comes to manga, I can usually, like, use my imagination to picture the scenes in my head. That's usually, like, way better in some place, in some cases than, than, uh, just watching the anime. Sometimes, for me, the anime just doesn't have that same feeling, that same raw element to it. My train control pad. Okay. Maybe we're going in here. But yeah. I don't know, Attack on Titan is one of the few where I don't feel like, where I feel like I want the anime to take over so I don't have to think about imagining things. Just because, I guess I'm biased in that sense, because, oh, this guy's easy by the way. Uh, she just pelt him with uh, grenade eggs. But uh, Attack on Titan is one of the few where I'm like, oh, I have to see the anime, I can't watch, I can't read the manga. Shot his arm off. See, we literally just pelt him with. <laughs> I don't need arms to be you. Poor guy. Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> he knocked his head off. Ow. <laughs> I got hit by my own grenade. <laughs> Damn, we actually killed it. He's dead. But yeah, basically stand on the platforms, because if you stand on the, the coals, he'll heat them up and then you'll get hit, but nothing to worry about. I don't really know why it showed my, uh, my air meter there. Where am I going? Where's the exit? Yeah, see, normally we're. It looks like it'll hurt us, but only in the fight it'll hurt us. All right. Well, we got the train, the train up and running. That'll be helpful later. Um, where to go next, though? I wonder. Uh, I'm gonna go see Humble Wumba actually. Might as well get those out of the way. Wherever she is. Uh, let me actually do this first. Get the shoes and then make a mad dash over here. Is it possible? I think it actually might be. Without the uh, the speed shoes. I think it's a good idea to get them. Nice.
Uh, I think there's a jiggy down there. Whoa! Whoa! Nice. Yeah, we can't go down there. That's that's an ability we get <laughs> two da two damn levels ahead. Jesus Christ. This game is hell bent on making you go back and forth between levels. Uh, can I make it there? Oh, nice, I can. What's over this way? Oh, I know, this is the water storage. Right? Oh, Lord. Oh, no, these are, these are the flooded caves. Bitch. <laughs> that was worth it. Ah. Uh, I think I, I think I remember, sort of. I don't think I need underwater egg firing, do I? I really hope I don't. And I also really don't want to have to look this up. So the only place we can go for air is at the beginning, I think. Uh, I'm gonna go back and get some air. I'll come back. Is there a place to go that way? No. So we go forward, then left. Alright, let's try again. Up? Nice. Is this? What the hell? Where is this? Is this the entrance? There's no way this is the entrance. What? Where am I? Where the hell am I? <laughs> what the hell? I don't think I've ever- I don't think I've seen that before. Hopefully I can find my way back. Oh, I remember. We're sp it's a shed it's a little shed that we blow up as What the hell, dude? That we blow up as the the humble wumbo transformation. It's this way, I think. Yeah, and this is where we came from. But not where we want to go. I think there's a jiggy if we go a different direction. I really hope I don't die here. Um, anything here? Nope. Oh lord. It's over here. If I die- oh perfect, I found it. If I die, it's perfectly fine. I don't lose anything for dying in this game, thankfully. Oh lord. Yeehaw, bitch. So thankfully you don't need any sort of special ability to, to get to that. Good thing we got that out of the way. Oh, pfft. <laughs> now how am I going to get out of here? This way? Nope. Let's try the other way. way maybe I think yeah nice this is where we came from I think that way will take us to water storage right Water storage, and I think it's either up here or on the next one. Yeah, on the next one. Should be a Jinjo for us to get. To save, I should say. Oh, I think there's a treble cleft down here. Oh lord. Yeah, there it is. So I think this will give us all the... All the notes that we need. Oh, let me check. E-totals. 
great. Great. So we're still we're still missing five notes. I don't know where the basket is. Hopefully it doesn't take us too long to find. I think there is a Jinjo down here. Oh, never mind. It's a Cheeto page. Um Yeah, there's a Jinjo over there, but we can't get through there until... I don't know, actually. I think a few levels down the line. It's kind of crazy. Alright. So this is... this is by... This is by the Crushing Shed. Line Entry 1. Um... Where is she? There she is. Let's go talk to Humble Wong. Get our transformation going. <laughs> that was oddly in time. Oh, nice. I think the the warp pad is inside because we can't really get up the hill as the uh, the Momo transformation. So you have to warp back inside. I don't really understand why. I don't know why they, they wouldn't just make the, the hill smaller. <laughs> or less steep of a slope. But yeah. The detonator. So, if we press B, we do this little self-destruct attack that actually hurts us, so... Kinda stupid. <laughs> but, um... I think... I think we just need to go line ourselves up with the rope. And we won't take damage. What's in here again? I think Canary Mary's in here. Yeah, there she is. Poor girl. Alright, we'll save her once we turn back to Banjo Kazooie. But for now, we need to blow some things up. Uh, I'm trying to think where we need to go. I think this way, maybe? Fuel storage? Yeah. Let's go in there. Like I said, just like in the first game, the transformations are always slow as hell. Oh, what the hell? There it is. How did I miss this? My goodness, I found it, though. Alright, so line me, line me up. Damn it. Yeah, see that's the uh That's the self-destruct attack. And we'll need to do this for the next world, Witchy World. Yeah, you can see there's a little UFO trapped in that box. Yeah, I don't think there's anything in this little area here, so I can just get out of here. So off the top of my head right now, what I need to do is go save that Jinjo. Oh my lord. Game please. Uh, what the hell? I didn't detonate this? Oh. <laughs> well, there it goes. I guess that works. Ah. Uh, ordinance storage. Yeah. That's the, uh... That's the Brio Blaster section, so let's not go there just yet. Good to keep that in mind, though. Um, I need to use a warp pad. Yeah, let's go for it. I'm trying. I'm trying to get on the warp pad so I don't blow myself up. There it is. Outside Mumbo Skull, let's go for it. Check every area. Just in case we don't miss anything. Down here, maybe? <laughs> go down, please. Yeah, there he is. Help! I got you, bro. Get through the damn door. 
Ow. Alright, so let's save the Jinjo. Let's get out of here. Nice. Usually it's a lot harder to get through those doors with this little thing. Uh, is there anything I need to do over here? Just to be safe. Nope, I don't think so. So, let's go out this way, maybe? Um, we don't need to go there, to the red area. It's, we are already there. That's one of the dark areas, where we use the, uh, the fire eggs <laughs> to light the path. Rather than conventional means. Uh, where is that? That's the train station. It's over this way. We don't really need to worry about these uh, these minecart tracks at the moment. Uh, for now, I can't really think of anything else that we need the that we need the detonator for. That's the beginning of the level. I don't think I checked the green area yet. I think there's a way to go over here. Yeah, right. Yes, no. Ah. <laughs> Ow. Alright, so this, this is the shed I was talking about. So this will take us to the, the flooded caverns. Just to be sure, let me check. <laughs> yeah, so this is normally where you're supposed to enter the flooded caves. But I entered from the wrong place. And then when I came out here, it was just like this blocked off area. Uh, I think we're done with the detonator though, for now. Uh, let me see my totals. Two out of five Jinjos? Jesus. Well, there's one in the water storage that we can't get right now. I think there might be one or two in the Briegel Blaster section. I know where the, the other, um... The other Cheeto pages. The the honeycomb piece, I'm not sure. And the jam jars, I think that's down in Ordinance storage or whatever that place was. So let's go back to Mumbo. Or Mumbo. I'm so used to saying Mumbo because of Banjo Kazooie. But uh Wumba. The inferior shaman. Shout out, Mumbo. Almost the guy. She not even doing nothing. She just, oh yeah, hop in the pool. Not casting no spells or anything. Lazy. Alright, I'm kind of low on health. Kill this guy. Oh, what the hell? I had full health. I guess going into the pool restored my health. Sheesh. Alright. Canary Mary? I got you. I'm free! <laughs> nice guy, Banjo. Cause it'll be all about the money, bro. Oh, I think the, the empty honeycomb piece is in that box right there. So yeah, there's a little mini game with her, where where we have to beat her in a race on the minecarts, and then she'll give us some uh, rewards. She's old as hell though. Unskippable, by the way. <laughs> God. <laughs> like, did they really feel the need to animate all of this and have it not be able to be skipped? Jesus. Come on. 
Damn, I guess it's not in here. Where the hell's the damn, uh, the damn honeycomb piece? Ah, oh, well, if I miss it, I'll come back to it on my own time. I'll look it up. <laughs> so let's go over here. Is it? Yeah. No, actually. Let's over this way. Talk to Canary Mary. Shout out Canary Mary. <laughs> Although we literally rob her of all, her, all of her possessions. What up? Sure, dude. Thanks, Canary Mary. <laughs> Alright, mashing minigame. But I think this one is more of a... Okay, let me get in position. I think this is more of a rhythm minigame. get close I'll start matching like crazy did I start too early I think I started too early I'm getting tired but smoked her. <laughs> oh. Get fucked. Oh my lord, that was full focus. And we have to do another one too? Oh shit, I'm, my arm is tired. <laughs> I don't know if you heard me mashing, but I was going in there. Come on game, stop lagging. My emulator is running at like 50 FPS, dude. Ew. Alright. So there's a Jiggy. Game, please. Alright. So I'm going to try to race her again. if this is the because there's another another canary mary race later in the game where it's like more rhythm based where if you keep up with her she'll go your same the same speed but if you mash she'll go crazy fast and then if you get tired you won't be able to keep up and she'll get faster so i don't know man might as well just go for it i'll try the same rhythm that i was doing earlier Oh shit, there's a, there's a ginger right there. Alright, I have to get that when I'm done with this race. Alright, we're almost there. I think. Oh god, I started too early. She's catching up! Come on! <clears throat> Alright, we smoked her. We smoked her. Alright, easy. 
Whew. So yeah, for these mini games, it's all about keeping a consistent rhythm. Try to stay, you know, relatively close to her, and then you just mash at the end. It's been wedged in my. No. <laughs> Ugh. Kids game, by the way. All right. See you, Canary Mary. We'll see her later in the. I think it's the final world. It's called Cloud Cuckoo Land. <laughs> she did sh say she's going up to the clouds. Ah, oh, shit. Let me go grab that Jinjo that we missed. Oh, boy. So I think we still have at least. I'm trying to remember where the the last jiggy is. Oh, I remember. <laughs> it's up there. <laughs> oh, we can't get it right now. So the last one for this world that we can get at the moment is the Brigo Blaster section, which I'm not looking forward to. I just I remember the Jinjo was on the tracks. Might as well just follow them. I think he was up here. No? Oh lord. Yeah, these tracks really serve no purpose other than that minigame. There he is. I'm st Oh. I guess that's the only white Jinjo in the game. But yeah, I'm still missing... Two Jinjos. So I think there's one... Oh, I need to go back and get that treble clef. Oh, I'll do that after I'm done with this world. Um... I'm trying to remember what the... The Jinjos are. Maybe I should look it on my phone. Wee, bitch. Uh, give me one moment. And enjoy the music. Uh... Yes, I'm actually looking this up on my phone. <laughs> uh, no, I don't give a fuck. Toxic Gas Cave. Gotcha. See, that wasn't so hard. <laughs> Alright, let's go. I believe that's closer to the beginning, which is just where we need to go. <laughs> I really looked that shit up. That's funny. Hey, how did I not hear it when I was in there? Oh shit. Who knows, bro? It's in here though, right? Canary cave. So this isn't the toxic gas cave. Well then where's the toxic gas cave? Man, do I really want to scour the entire level for one damn Jinjo? The answer is yes, by the way. I'm trying to look for any openings that I haven't been to. Uh, let me go over and check green area. Um, actually, now that I think about it, I think there is... Something over this way. Yeah, there is. In here, maybe? Yeah, here it is. So maybe this is where we find the uh, empty honeycomb piece, too. What does this say? Anything that goes through the grinders will come out in pieces, including jiggy jiggies. Yeah, well... <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I already got it, Jam Jars. Alright, see, there it is. Oh, there he is. What up, buddy? So I believe the last Jinjo is in the... Brio Blaster section. Oh, lord, I'm about to die. 
That was close. <laughs> but we can increase our, our air meter too, which is a good thing. But we need to go all the way back to Spiral Mountain. So I'll do that on my own time, I think. Actually, maybe I'll, I'll just... I might just say fucking and do it <laughs> during the video. But for now, I think we're done with pretty much everything else. And I guess going to Spiral Mountain will let us see Cheeto as well. I think we only have six pages. Oh, we have seven. But for the first one, I think we need five, and I think we need another five for the next one. And there it is. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Oh lord. Uh, there it is. There's Jam Jars. Imagine holding your best friend as a gun. Fucking choking her neck. Hey, maybe she likes it. <laughs> Alright, so we got the beak bayonet. Which is just essentially a, main, a melee attack with Kazooie's beak. Which we need for this. Shred, partner. TNT sticks. <laughs> yeah, so we have to defuse them by, by doing the melee attacks. Thankfully they're not in random locations, but they are <laughs> a pain in the ass to find. Because then it starts the timer once you get one of them. Such a pain in the ass. So full focus, I'm going to try to be quick here. The music also gets faster once the timer starts. So it's like, monk ass. Don't stop, just go. That's what you have to remember with these. You can't waste any time. You gotta be on the move 24-7. Oh, this one down there. <laughs> I know I just stopped right there, but you know what I mean. Keep it moving is what I'm trying to say. Here maybe? Yeah, there's two of them. No, it's just one. And you can hear them bouncing too, so that makes things kind of easier. There's one in there. Let me get this guy first though. What? Oh, uh, this way. And this way. Yeah. There's two of them here. Let's go down first. One in here? Yep. I think where I know where the other two are. I need to go up onto the uh, the wooden walkway. Honestly, I think the addition of this like FPS sort of section is I think it's honestly pretty cool. It's just a pain in the ass, the missions that you have to do. Oh, there's a ginger over there. Okay. I seen his eyes. So let me take care of these guys first. One more. Up here, maybe? Nope. It's where I came from, maybe? Yeah, I <laughs> went back where I came from. So just give me the sound. I'll be able to hear it. Shit, dude. Yeah, this is the hard part. There's like one or two left. Oh, I already been here. <laughs> and the music's getting faster too. Shit. Damn it. 
Damn it. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna make this. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, fuck. Thankfully, we can try again, but. Oh, what a pain, dude. We don't even get damage. Well, it's only a blessing if you get- it's a blessing if you get on the first try. <laughs> so, might take one or two more tries. <laughs> Shit. Maybe I shouldn't go back like this. Almost hit the, the TNT there. I don't know, I could see over there. I'm starting to get lost. Fuck, where do I go? Two left. Nope, I already went there. Did I go this way? I did. That way, maybe. Oh, I already been this way. Oh my god! Ah, oh, tragic. Truly tragic. <laughs> no, dude. <sighs> I don't know why, why I always keep this for last. I should do it first. Get this bullshit out of the way. Alright, we're going right back in. I'm trying to get my bearings here. It's 
a sound to my left. I think that'll take me to the start. Just to be sure. Yeah. Where's the sound coming from? <sighs> Went all the way back to the entrance. Did I get this one already? I did. Ow. Oh shit. <laughs> That's what I get. Alright, I'm not gonna think about it. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go, go, go. You guys are free to skip this, by the way. <laughs> I'm definitely spending way too much time on this. So don't feel bad for skipping this shit. Skip to like the end so you can see my reaction. It's got some reach to it. Oh my god. Alright, good. I could have fucked myself up right there. One more. I don't know if there's a ginger on there, <laughs> but I'll look it up on my own time. I'm not staying in here any longer than I need to. Oh, god damn. Jesus, I, I hate this part so much. 
Like why? Like they give you this cool ass first person shooter, yet they make you do this bullshit. I don't understand. <laughs> like this could be used in such a better, in such a more interesting way, you know? But no, you gotta, you gotta melee attack the the TNT, whatever the fuck. All right, but I think, I think for now we're done with Glitter Girl, Glitter Gulch Mine. Jesus. Uh, let me check my totals. Yeah, all I'm missing right now is a Jiggy that I can't get and a Jinjo. Oh, I know where the Jinjo is. Never mind. Never mind. I know where it is. All right, so for now, yeah, we're done with Glitter Gulch Mine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go all the way back to Spiral Mountain, talk to uh, talk to Cheeto, and also do something that'll help us increase our our error meter or whatever. All right. Jinjo Village. Oh, also I should get the uh, the treble clef on top of the red house, which is right here. Oh boy, what an episode, eh? I'm still thinking about that goddamn FPS section. The Briegel Blaster. God. They're like, yup, this is fun. Oh, shit. Go up, dude. Oh, uh, is there another way up? On the back, maybe? Nope. So I had the right I had the right idea getting up here. Oh. oh my god. Nice. Alright. I think that's the only treble clef in the uh the hub world. So just follow the tracks and let's get back out to Spiral Mountain. Actually, before I go over there, let me go over this way. Cause there's this little climbing area here. That we aren't we I saw it when we first got into this area. But I was like, oh yeah, I have to remember that. Because we can't access it because of this climbing part. I forget what's over here. Is it the ice key? Oh no, it's not. Ooh, a Banjo Kazooie game pack. So basically, you gotta find this dude. Oh, it is the ice key. Thanks. Yes, sir! The Banjo Kazooie ice key. So, this is probably the little area it from uh, Freeze Easy Peak that. Wait, did it respawn? Oh. So yeah, this is probably the little section in Waz's Cavern and Freezy- Oh shit. <laughs> I just fell off. In uh, Waz's Cavern and Banjo-Kazooie. Kinda cool. It's not not completely necessary for completing the game or anything, but it's cool to have. But it does have a use later on though. But we'll get to that. There is another game pack if we get to a flight pad, but before we do that, let's go all the way back to the dreary, destroyed Spiral Mountain. <laughs> Bottles is still there, chilling. <laughs> it's the little fish. I don't know the fish's name. Uh, what's wrong with the camera here? So we just gotta bring him back into the water. I don't know if you guys remember, but there's this one little like cutscene at the end of Banjo Kazooie where Mumbo Jumbo is like cooking the little fish on the barbecue. It's funny. Extra bubbles. He gives us extra bubbles, and he also teaches us how to uh, how to swim faster. So you hold A and B. So this is normal swimming. 
and then this is faster swimming. It's actually, it's quite a bit faster. So, good idea to come back and, and get that. Though it does require you to come all the way back to Spiral Mountain. <laughs> uh, I don't think we need a flight pad, honestly. Can we just do that? Yeah. There's a flight pad right there. Alright, let's talk to Cheeto. Got enough pages for a new cheat. Alright. Feathers. Maya Hem Temple. Yeah. I'll probably show you guys that. Just just so you know what I'm talking about. Or what I was talking about in the first episode. So I'm sure it'll, it's just like the first game. Uh, it'll probably just give us 200 feathers like in the first game. Actually, no. In the first game, we go from 50 to 100. So... The more the more feathers the better the better I guess. But we do need the feathers. There are there are more moves that we unlock in this game that require the use of feathers. Uh, I think we're going from there. Uh no, not here. Let's check it out anyway though. Some cool little areas in Spiral Mountain. There is another game pack, but we can't get it. Yeah, see it's behind the metal bars. We can't even use, uh, grenade eggs. <laughs> Alright. So let's go where I actually wanted to go. Um, where is it? I believe... I think it's over this way, yeah, there is. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Why was there Ah, <laughs> oh, shit, we don't have uh, mid-air aiming. But, we can't just sacrifice ourselves. Oh, shit, we didn't take damage there. And this will give us, well, honestly, I'll just show you. We got time, right? Long episode, but I guess it's worth it. Now we got a special egg. Oh, well, well. Mysterious pink secret egg. I wonder what's inside. I'll show you what's inside. So we're gonna head on over to... We're gonna use the silo and transport... Or transport, teleport to the... Uh, to the wooded hollow. Ow. I was sitting on my leg. That shit hurts. Um there's an area over here we can come to. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, dude. Let's go. Uh, no, this is the wrong area. <laughs> That'll transport us back to the, uh, the Jinjo village. Well, I have a lot of jiggies. I can also unlock the next level if I want to. But yeah, j basically a giant chicken coop. Where we'll be able to use our... Our special egg. Heggy the hen. Find a special egg. This music goes so hard for no reason. Cluck? Special Heggy Egg. Briegel Bash. Yes, sir. Strongest move in the game. Also, Banjo uh, Forward Smash <laughs> in Banjo in uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. 
just a double tap of B. You can basically one shot any like normal enemy. Uh, ouch. So these are split up pads. And one of Kazooie's abilities on her own is the ability to hatch eggs. So we can come back and hatch this egg. I don't really know what it'll give us, I don't remember. Uh, so let's go over to... Uh, Mayhem Temple. And then we'll in uh, input the cheat. This is the only one I'll do, like, on video. The, the next ones that we get, I'll do on my own time. I'll just let you guys know that I've done it. Uh, Wumbo's Wig Mom, I think. Unfortunate, they have to come back and forth through this shitty level <laughs> so many times. So we just stand on this and we spell out feathers. This dick recept- what is it called? Receptacle? Fucking... Sights? Whatever you call it. it, it it's- it's- is it inverted? Well, okay, so left and right isn't inverted, but up and down is. So, uh, F... E... A... See how, like, I'm- I'm moving it, like, just barely. Like, just the tiniest flick sends me that far. Like, if you're gonna make one inverted, at least make the other inverted. E, R, S. Alright. Now step across the cheat sheet on the wall. Nice. Oh shit, it's both of them. Beautiful. So you use this to activate it, or turn it off. Alright, yeah, I get it, Cheeto. Alright, so let's get out of here. Um, I think we'll also go to the Jiggy Wiggy Temple and we'll do the next... Ah, should I? Yeah, I might as well do it while I'm around this shitty-ass level. I know this, this level's long as hell. Or this level, this, this, uh, this... Jesus Christ, I can't speak, you all. Just say it. Out with it. Out with it. Um, yeah, this, this video is long as fuck. No? What I'm trying to say. Video long. I think I might be able to do, like, two more. I have 14. I should be able to do two more. So this next one will be for Jolly Roger's Lagoon? No, Jolly Roger, Jolly Roger Bay, I think. Is it? I don't fucking know. Um. So the strat is to do the one with flat sides first. Huh? Come on, dude. Oh, shit. Nice. Yeah, I remember going through that level, Jolly Rogers Lagoon, and there are these really cool underwater parts, which I'm not gonna spoil, but it feels so open, and there's like barely shit to get there. So if you know what to get, it's just unnecessarily large. Kinda just kinda unfortunate, but it's whatever I guess. Isle O Hags. Yeah, we don't need to worry about this area just yet. Cause we still have Witchy World to get through. You are indeed the chosen one. Okay, so cool. 
I can do the next one too. Might as well get it out of the way. I think number five is for Pterodactyl Land. Yeah, Pterodactyl Land. Thankfully you don't lose anything from <laughs> getting the wrong puzzle piece spot. So you can just trial and error this shit. Even if you can't see the image that it's giving you, <laughs> you can just mash and win. Alright, so I don't I don't definitely don't have enough for the third one. Or well no. That would be the sixth one. But I mean a third one in the row in a, in a row. So I think the next one after Pterodactyl Land would be Would it be Grunty Industries? I think it would. The mighty Jiggy Wiggy. Then it would be Hailfire Peaks. Then then after Hailfire Peaks would be Cloud Cuckoo Land, I think. And then after Cloud, Cloud Cuckoo Land, that'll be the end of the game. Pretty sure. Last world called Cauldron Keep. Kaboom. Alright though, I think that's it for this video. I do not have enough, I know. But um... Might as well... Teleport at least. Before I finish. That way I'll have a good place, a good spot to, uh, save state. Yeah, that's what I do. I save, I, I make a save state after I'm done recording. And then I just load the save state, uh, when I'm about to record again. So yeah, thank you, thank you guys for sticking around if you made it this far. Even if you skip through the video, I don't really care, honestly, you gave me the view. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, thanks you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Next time, shut up, dude. Next time we'll be going in there into Witchy World. So, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Take care. Peace.